YouTubers? What do you think? <laughs> you know, I've been chasing this Arctic blade for going on 30 years. It's a long time. It's a long time. In 30 years, I busted one hose because I had two long and I got jammed in down around where she turns and very reliable. Beautiful blade. But all things must come to an end. We were approached by uh, Arctic snow plows and uh, they were sizing up what we had done with our blade and of course watching us in the videos and and over a short period of time we became almost like we were longtime friends. So we're going to team up with Arctic and we're going to uh, bring some new products to you the viewer and just show you how much they've advanced since 30 years ago. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just very durable. It's just unbelievable if, if, if you think this was good you should see what they have now. It's, it's incredible. It's just incredible. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, bring in some new products by them. And so you're not going to be seeing this blade anymore on this tractor. It's, uh, it's kind of sentimental to me, but it, because uh, it, it works perfect, you know? But again, when you see what's going to go back on it to replace it, you're going to say, wow, you know. So what I would do for the folks at home that, that love looking at implements and tractors and stuff is probably put a sham wow on your keyboard because there's going to be a bit of drooling involved. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I'm telling you, like, like Arctic Plows is uh, a company that I've highly respected even before I really knew who they were. Kathy and I would be different places and we'd see a plow and Kathy say, oh, look at the plow. I'd say, yeah, but it's no Arctic. <laughs> Wouldn't I? Yeah. For years. For years. So it's going to be so easy for us to promote this product. It'd be just like promoting a Kubota. I mean. I know. You know. Look, what a marriage. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really? really, what a marriage. And both orange. What a marriage. Made in heaven. So, you know, like, and, and we're blessed to have the two of them. So we're gonna, again, we're just gonna show you some, some new product. Uh, the new blade that's, that it's already here. We're gonna go get it and put it on and uh, probably dress for the occasion, you know? We have a storm coming. Uh, well, by the time you see this video, it's gonna probably be started, the storm. Anyway, uh, we'll be back and we'll, uh, show you more of the new product. Right now we have to go and dress for the occasion. So we'll be back shortly, folks. We're back. Got the Arctic swag going. My son, boy. We're all ready to roll. Come on, snow, hey. Oh, the snow gods are in our Oh, players. yes. Well, we got a storm coming this evening. We do. It's going to be starting this evening and it's going to go right into tomorrow. High winds, northeasterly, it's going to be as nasty as one can possibly get, if we get it. And we're excited. And we're excited. <laughs> I know. You know, well, since already, since already came aboard, no, I don't care if we get snow in August. No, that's right. I really don't care. But anyway, something don't feel right. Really? Yeah. What's wrong? Uh, something, something is not right with this outfit. I'll be back in a second, you know. Blue gloves showing an Arctic product? <laughs> Come on. Seriously. Love. Now, is that sexy or what? Oh, yeah, that is sexy. Wow. Now we're ready to show the Arctic yeah, product. Yeah, now we're ready. So the unveiling. Here is the new plow by Arctic. It's, uh, well, we'll take it out and show you. Right. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. It's colder. It is. Killer got a new blade. I think he's smiling. Oh yeah, he's loving it. He's loving it. He's loving the attention. He is. So anyway, folks, this is Arctic's skid steer blade. Yes, it's made for a skid steer, but it can also fit a loader, tractor. 
wow. because it's got a universal plate on it. And that's why they call them universal skid steer attachments. You'll notice that it's it's got steps here because of course with a skid steer, you step on these to get into the cab. Okay. Right? But here we're going to use it for cleaning hoods and <laughs> 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 Yeah, but it's uh yeah, it's it's got the uh, 38 poly poly or polyethylene skin on it. You can see what they did is they reinforced the back ribs nice. to accommodate polyethylene is exactly well it's not exactly but it's much the same as design as our 26 year old poly blade except this one's much beefier because it's made for heavy equipment now, I'm telling you this is super cool our old blade which was an arctic again used to pivot here so the whole blade would pivot created some problems earlier on for me because when I adapted it to the tractor if it pivot it would flick back if, it, if I hit an obstacle and it would put snow up on the hood so I made some adjustments with that I put a couple of plates here and there and I also put a shock on it a double acting shock so I wouldn't come back so quick with this system you have four springs and they are for the trip edge and it, 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 this whole system don't, don't flip now. The edge flips over. So uh, it's much more beneficial for this type of application. It has the wings, side wings. Uh, if you're pushing a large parking lot, more beneficial to have this on it. It's got a floating system there. And what happens is with these wings on, they say that it'll save, it'll increase the capacity 30%. So, I mean, 30% when you're doing contract work, that's a big savings for the sake of a couple of extra wings. This is optional to this blade. So, if you go to order this blade, you're going to have to ask for these. Um, the beauty with these things is they're so easy to change over. There's a pin here that you pull, right here. Okay, when you pull this pin here, there's a pin in here out front that you pull on. Come over here, Kathy. So you pull this pin here, okay, and it comes out. Then you take this and you move it out and you pull this lever. When you pull this lever, you can pick this up and lay it aside. It's got a grab handle there too. Yeah, right? no tools necessary. So it, it you know it's it's a it's a beautiful system the way it's designed. So you have technically you have two blades in one. You have a snow push, a snow pusher, plus you have your regular blade that you know that you can twist and, and do whatever you want with. It also has a good feature too that I've seen a lot of other blades that don't have it. And this is this system here. This is a pressure really cold, aren't you? <laughs> Put up my hood. This is a, a uh, relief valve. Oh, and what okay. this relief valve does is this, if this if this wasn't here and this was hooked directly to them hoses every time you hit this blade it creates a lot of back pressure on the hydraulic system and what happens is it goes back and that pressure will look for the weakest link and the weakest link means breakdown so in this situation here this is what's going to take the shock so it's going to be much, much safer for your piece of equipment, and uh, that's the beauty of it. Now, why do I like poly blades so much? Well, Arctic makes steel blades as well. For me personally, I've always loved the poly blade, and the reason for it is because we live in an environment where you can have almost four seasons in one day. It can be sunny like it is now, and an hour from now, it can be raining, and then it can turn to snow and wet snow and the poly blade is perfect for those conditions because nothing sticks to it. Uh, years ago my very first blade was a steel blade actually by Arctic, it was a used one I bought back in uh, 1991. That's when I bought the first blade oh. and I had it on an S15 GMC pickup and I used to make, I would do uh, snow clearing commercially then, 
and I used to take a shovel with me and I would get out every four or five pushes in wet snow and beat the stuck snow off the blade. <laughs> so in 1994 we bought a brand new poly blade and I've never had to take a shovel with me after. It was much easier to shovel with the truck. It was it's just a fantastic blade. And what I also like about Arctic is anybody who watches us and who have watched us for any period of time will know that I absolutely despise what, Kathy? Powder coat. Powder coat. Powder coating, they'll tell you it's durable, they'll tell you it's this and it's that. Folks, in my opinion, the reason why people powder coat now is because it's uh, faster, it's in and out, and once you cover up the bare metal, it's done. Once it chips, you can peel it off in sheets. Oh yeah. I mean, we went on we went on a, a, a dealership's lot one time looking at dump trailers, <laughs> oh, and there was a brand new trailer there. And I said, just look at the powder coating. You could take it off in two by two sheets. But you can see it blowing in the wind. It was blowing was in the wind, flapping yeah. in the wind, yeah. exactly. So I never did like it. Now the powder coating guys will say, ah, it's because it wasn't prepped properly. It wasn't this. It wasn't that. I said, send it to me, let me test it. Nobody's ever sent it to me. <laughs> Still waiting. Still waiting, because they know what I'm saying is right. This here is galvanized. Why do you think the nation's leading rental company has galvanized trailers? That's right, they've because learned. Because it lasts. That's right. It lasts. Why do we have a galvanized dump trailer? Because it lasts. Why do we have a fully galvanized utility trailer? Because it lasts. No more powder coating. So this here is uh, is the way to go, in my opinion. Look, the last blade we had, twin, uh, almost 30 years old, and I just put it down on the back. Not because there was anything wrong with it, it's because we have this, <laughs> right? That's right. You know, it, it's a refresh. I mean, look at look at the detail that they put into it. Look at the sweep in their deflector. Oh, I know. Isn't something? Right? You know, nothing is going to stick to it. No. It's, uh, look how it's built here. Just, you talk about lasting. Come over here, Kathy. You talk about uh, lasting. Grease nipples. Oh, wow. For the center pivot shaft. That's good. You know, you know a company that wants stuff to wear out, do not put grease irks no, in your equipment. No. How many times have we bought Nash, will, uh, international known implements? That's right. And I had to take them, and what did I do? You put them on yourself. I had to put Zerks in the system. So it's uh, it's already done here, you know? The hoses, I had the hoses built, uh, done at uh, Princess Auto in St. John's. They've done a fantastic job. I got them a little bit longer because that's something that I got to do later on. I got to, there's another few things going to happen to this. But uh, the other thing is too, if you do get a system like this, and you're like me, I got a tendency to want to reach up as high as I can on a pile and, and kind of push the snow in over the other side. You need to have your hoses a bit longer because as this pivots, <laughs> your hoses stretch. Oh, okay. So you have to That's allow true. for that, you know? True. And uh, so that basically it. Uh, fellas are going to say, well, how do you adjust the height? There's no shoes. Come on over here, Kathy. Like, like Arctic thought about everything here. Shoes, we're talking my language. We're, oh yeah, these are shoes. Down here, uh, look pads, at that. right? Yeah. So they're basically like I designed the other one. Yes, isn't it? The same same situation, right? Sure. And that's on the trip edge as well. So, you know, it's not going to be damaged if it hits an obstacle, it's going to tilt with the, with the trip blade. Yeah. So, you got your poly blade, you got your galvanized, you got your universal skid steer attachment. Look, they all think you're going to feed them. Look. You got your crows. You got your crows. <laughs> Not included. See, Kathy feeds the crows, guys. <laughs> and they think now that they're getting fed. They're a little critter. Yeah, they are. They got a right to live they like got everybody. got a right to live. So, yeah, so you have your, your poly blade. You have your galvanized. You have your grease irks. You have your trip edge. You have your removable wings. Folks, I'm going to tell you something. It don't get any better. You got your, your your safety mechanism in place here, your crossover valve, 
and a universal skid steer. This one here is 90 inches wide. You can get them wider for bigger tractors. Uh, tractor this size, don't, I wouldn't recommend going any wider. There's a fair bit of weight there. Tractor has no trouble handling it, but you don't want to overkill it either, you know? And, uh, you know, like, I couldn't be any prouder of this than if I built it myself. You know? That's the way you would build it. Well, I mean, for, for years and years and years, I've always had an interest in tractor implements and plows, and, and Arctic was always close to my heart because that's what we had. And I mean, when you have something for almost 30 years and it's still usable and in really good shape, listen, it don't need anybody to explain how good it is. No. It's, it's, it's survival rate in commercial snow clearing for 26 years is enough. So this here, I said to Kathy yesterday, I said, you know what? Our grandchildren's children is going to be operating with this thing. <laughs> it's that well built. So anyway, folks, that's the introduction. The tractor is supplied by Newfoundland Kubota Limited. And uh, they've been good to us, the best dealership on the island. And of course, that paired with an Arctic system. Listen, man, you know, it's the perfect recipe. Isn't it? It really yeah. is. And it's orange. Bonus, you know? bonus. And that's why I had to dress for the occasion. Uh, right? Uh, true. Anyway, we have snow coming. The next video, hopefully, cross fingers, you'll get to see this thing working both with the wings and without the wings. And we'll see what happens then. So until the next video, you guys take care. Be good to each other. God bless.